Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial on how to edit attribute tables and how to adjust your values that are embedded or saved as uh, attributes so to a polygon or a feature. So we'll start here with the exercise 16c of the book Getting to Know ArcGIS and as you can see we have here our well-known parcels and also the um, underlying aerial photograph. So let's have a look here in the attribute table and just to uh, get you an update, in the last session we have created or we have split it up this larger polygon into these both um, polygons. And as you can see, they are both sharing the same uh, parcel ID. That isn't that good for a uh, next analysis. So we, what we will use is we will use the sele um, attribute selection tool. So that was a little bit uh, fast maybe, so just open the attribute table, click on table options and select by attributes. Now you can easily choose for the par or the parcels ID, you can get unique values by pressing on the get unique values tools and you can select um, features where the parcels ID is the same as 2707. Well, that syntax isn't correct, as you can see when I'm choosing here. Oh, well, it was correct. Great. So just type it in here, apply, and um, there are just two out of more than 2,000 selected. So these are the both. Of course, due to the fact that this SQL statement was a very simple one, you can easily just double click on both of them to select them. So what we will do is we will now open an editor mode. So we will start the editing session and what we will do is in the editing session you can easily just go in here and adjust values of uh, your features. So why can we ch um, update the shape length and shape area? These are, these are fields that are automatically um, calculated by ArcGIS. So what is a parcel ID? I will now just click on this one. So the new one will get a will get a new parcel ID, and it is said in the book that the parcel ID should be four one four o o one. So now we have adjusted that, and as you can see, the labeling process is taking place. So everything is uh, shown here correctly in the map, and um, this is the first possibility to edit attributes and yet there's another one so I will, cho I will so, um, show you that one first of all um, we will save our edits and select clo uh, close editing and now right click once again on the open attribute table um, none is selected of course and uh, by using this tool you can add a field. I don't know whether it is changed in a new version. In the last versions, yeah, still the same. If you are in an editing mode, um, it is not possible to add a field. So you have to switch off the ad uh, editing mode and then you can add a field. This field will be called acres and it will be added as a new dimension uh, in this table, so as a new column, and this will be uh, presented in a short integer way, I think. Maybe let's have a look in the book. Oh no, it is called in a float uh, value, so type is float, not short integer, and you can allow null values, you can give it a default value. Well, it's not that good to choose a default value here for um, something called acres, so it will show the area of a parcel in acres. So we will now just click on OK. As you can see here, the attribute table where it was expanded um, here, everything is shown correctly. And now there are uh, two possibilities. First of all, you can uh, open an editing mode and um, calculate values in acres. But there is also the possibility to uh, use a field calculator right uh, right from the start. So what is the difference in, the f in an editing mode? You can re um, reform your edits and so on. So this is not possible in a, uh, a non-edit mode. So this will be now uh, written into the table um, 
very hard. So what we will do is we will uh, concentrate on acres here. And acres will be, um, or no, sorry for that. So what we will do is we are already calculating values for acres. So what they are depending on, we they are depending on the shape area. And shape area is just divided by, well, four, three, Five six zero. How can you American guys remember such values? So I love metric system. Everything has changed quite quickly. So uh, five six zero. So that's fine in the moment. Uh, we'll just press on OK. Normally. Oh, hope I haven't. Sh uh, no, there we are. Calculating records. Everything is going fine, I hope, at the moment. So this takes uh, some minutes as I'm just using one processor in my virtual box. So um, there are the areas and it is written into the table. There's nothing wrong with that. So I will now open um, here my little explorer. go to the exercise folder this is chapter 16 and data oh it's written here in the in the uh, in MDB so we will have a look in that hope it's written directly into it So here are parcels, and as you can see, um, there is a table of acres available in the MDB, in this case, so the GeoDatabase. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for geocoding addresses with, with, this, uh, with it. It's very new to me as well, so uh, I will be excited to um, see you again soon. Bye.